I fucking love windmills, I don't know why. I just think they look pretty awesome on the horizon. Let's go see Panam. Oh shit, yeah. Just a little more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. you turn All it right. into a goddamn yeah, rocket ship. I know. Uh, no. I have cumin All ready to go? Uh, yeah, Maybe. Yeah. Uh huh. No, yes. not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corporals haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like he just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And so, what about him? Nothing. For now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Go on, hop in. Everything is set. Really? Fuck yeah. Are these like one are these like personal tanks? One person? I mean Um Oh yeah. Oh no, Panam's joining me. So these are, are these two person or is that a seat there? No, it's not. No seat there. So these are two people. Okay. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you everything gotta... is dandy. Give me a moment. <laughs> oh yes! This is cool. Not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. I mean, it's fucking awesome. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? <laughs> no. Then I trust you. Well, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. So she's steering then. She does the steering and I fire do the firing? Okay. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Yeah. Pan Am? Is this a... Uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There. Ooh. See? Oh. 
Oh, cool. Okay, starting to understand what so you So you can go first person. Warm up. Don't worry. We can go I'm third. Watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft ride. Same as a boat. Mm -hmm. She'll fly right over any bumps, all types of terrain. Head towards that wreck. the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. Left. Oh well. One more time. I mean, you said it right as I was turning the other way, so Left again. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. This is a cargo ship? Right. Blast those wrecks. Good. They're better than dirt now. Bullseye. Okay, practice is over. Ah, oh, but that was fun. Good. Now I'm going to connect. Could feel strange. Meaning, basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Know exactly what you mean. Hmm? Tell you later. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback. Sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now. Oh, we're getting super connected with you, Panam. Oh, fuck. They found us. We have to get back to camp. They're rapid! Whole group of them, ready for a fight! They're here too, Saul! In full force! Take them out! Then haul edge here and make yourselves useful. We'll go straight to you. We have to help the family. We're almost there. Oh, there is pricks. Okay, I see bad ends. Those bastards are in for a surprise. Okay, V. Let's get to If you guys are ready to get fucked. Oh. Are more shit coming for us? It's everything. Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, get out. Okay. First time we take the fight to the Raffins.
Oh, okay. I thought it was going straight into you. Like a conversation. All of us. Each on his or her own must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Like killing raffins. Come on, Salt. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly, but fine. Have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said... I know. But I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family. Not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay. Okay. Well, I... Many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Aww. Congratulations. <laughs> Terrible choice. I voted nay. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? Of course, Panam. So where the fuck are they gonna go now? Night City? Interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. Shit. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the other Keldas. No squirming. Always. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Beer me. Happy endings. But I'm just too cool. <laughs> Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Panem, what do you. Stay in camp. Join us. Really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. Why can't we just tell her? I'll think it over. I promise. Are we gonna tell her now? Like V needs to tell people what the fuck is going on. What the fuck is going on? V? Nam, I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? Where... Where are we? You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? We moved camp. You are safe. Everything is under control. Wait, how long has things happened? What? Oh, V. V, 
You have to tell me what is happening. Well, there you are. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Wait, blood? I was bleeding? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening exactly? B, talk to me. To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. B, cut the crap and tell me what's going on. I'm worried. You know. Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? <laughs> Pan Am. Silverhand's construct is busy wreaking havoc in my head. Impossible. It's not. It's simply impossible. Johnny Silverhand? Listen, did you try, you know, talking to someone about this? I could tell my therapist a lot of things, but this isn't one of them. Constructs more like a cancer growing every day. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. Nice. You're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? He must have seen me. Huh? Yes. Fucking cops. I bailed. They won't find me. Is anything wrong, V? Can I look in the mirror without cancelling everything? I can, okay. Well, I'm still me. Okay. So you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the Aldecaldos are here for you. Then that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? So where have they moved to? Can't be that far. I know this area. Back from the old roots. You're really safe here though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really hey, are much better. Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea how long we were out for. I didn't see a timer pay, you know, pop up. But well, they've got the tank. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. Well, if you're in charge, everything will be just fine, I'm sure. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? 
He was the one who created the personality construct. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Pena. That was awesome. We made some firm friends. Uh, why is there why is there like a a thing on that? Is it? Do I need to scan it? Why is my scanner not working? Uh. Uh. What? Wait, I... I can call my vehicle now. Okay. Maybe if I get on the bike? Wait. So I can get to the menu. I can get on the bike. Let's get off the bike. So I can punch. For some reason I can't get into my, um vision mode thing, my tab. What is that about? Well, we'll save anyway. That's so weird. Because it wants me to scan that, but I can't scan because the scan won't come up. Which I assume is a bug? Had a great time in spite of the circumstances, all thanks to you. Maybe we can do it again, just without spilling any blood. <laughs> Can't wait. Anyway, still waiting for Mike go to spill the deets on our meat. Call you, I know more. Wait for Judy's call. We've got another. Message Regina A cyber a cyber psycho in the wasteland. Yeah, I'm not sure what is going on with the uh, the thing. That is really annoying. It's like do a scan. But well I, I can't say they took away the ability to scan. Because it's quite likely just a bug. That's the thing. How can you tell whether something's a bug or the weird design choice? With a game this buggy, you, you just can't. I guess I had to play it safe. <laughs> 